member or the theme park evangelist. I am on my way to vacation Bible school at my church right now, and I decided to bring my camera with me and do um, a long discussion on how I feel about the new changes coming to Disney World based on what I learned from the D23 Expo over the weekend. Of course, um, I will, you will not be able to see me because of the fact that I am driving right now, and I decided to film in my area just so you guys can have a driving tour of Lake Wales and Winter Haven while I'm on my way to church. I'm not actually looking at the camera this time because of the fact that um, I don't, I'm not looking for any specific area to film in. It's usually um, I'm trying to watch the camera and the road at the same time, but today I'm just watching the road. Well, first of all, um, the D23 Expo was over the weekend. There goes my camera. Lovely. That happens when you're going over a hill. Give me one second. Yeah, the D23 Expo was over the weekend, which of course is a uh, large biannual Disney event that discusses all of the um, big changes coming to Disneyland, Disney World, Disneyland Paris, yada yada yada, over the next few years. And Disney World, or Walt Disney World, turns 50 on the 20. On 2021, of course, Disneyland is a lot older than that. It's like 65 now, just turned 65, I believe. And uh, I think that's the reason why a friend of mine just went out to Anaheim, not just to watch the um, D23 Expo in Anaheim, but also because he also um, wanted to be at Disneyland for their 65th birthday. I thought that was pretty cool that he did that. So yeah, um, Sunday was the first time that I even got a chance to watch anything D23 Expo related. By this point, um, the D23 Expo was pretty much over. The camera fell over again. You're going to have to bear with me on that. So it was kind of nice to be able to watch everything all together in one pile and since I had pretty much most of the afternoon that did help to um, make some time to watch all the videos. I have to keep pausing because I'm trying to think about what to say and also I'm trying to drive at the same time. That's always fun. attractions I'm excited about coming to Disney World and which attractions I'm kind of sad to see leave Disney World. I'm going to take a biblical guess on why um, these changes are even coming to Disney World. Camera seems to like to fall whenever I go down a hill of some sort. I don't know why.
technology does that, um, the te change of time has done that. A lot of things come into play, plus the fact that, um, back in the days of creation there was no sin, and now there is, because Adam and Eve chose to eat of the forbidden fruit, which we're not sure what that is offhand, but a lot of, um, people like to say it was an apple, but we're not even sure if it was an apple or not. So, you know, Adam and Eve, um, ate of the forbidden fruit, and now the thoughts of man and woman, of course, have changed since then. It was kind of sad. It's very sad, actually. What am I saying? And because of that, um, things have changed over time. Uh, people have done crazy things that, um, normal at all. There goes my camera again. Who knows, I might just hold it right here in my hand. Because this is becoming very irritating. Yes, yeah, very irritating. I'm tired of it constantly falling over on me. Mostly I'm so let's, that brings us back to 2017, kind of, well, let's also start with the time of, uh, Walt Disney, when he first decided that he wanted to build Disneyland, he just intended it to be a place for families to go together and spend time with each other. I don't think he expected all these fancy changes to come to his parks over the years to see beloved attractions disappear over the course of time. I don't think that was definitely ever his um, expectation at all. There are some changes that the Disney company has made over the years that would make him talk, turn in his grave if that was even possible. Because people have changed. People no longer want to completely fulfill um, Walt Disney's vision anymore like they used to. I, the Disney company says that they do. Because you, you'll see it, Walt Disney's uh, quotes written all over um, Walt Disney World. Maybe even Disneyland. I haven't been over there yet. Um, I'm just waiting on a free plane ticket to Disneyland, Calif California, and then we'll talk, because I have my way in now. It's just a matter of, can I get over there, because it's not exactly cheap to fly up there. Some people like Brian Hull and Adam the Woo and Justin Scarred can easily afford to fly between the two states all the time. Meanwhile, I cannot. I'm working at Walt Disney World just to be able to save up for Bible college. And the last time that anybody in my family went to California was a few years ago. Granted, um, I was offered a chance to go out to California next year. If that happens, heck yes, I'll take that choice and that chance to go. Because I would love to talk about my experience of going out to Disneyland where it all started. I wouldn't be surprised if I didn't recognize half of the attractions out there either. Because of the fact that, um, so much has changed over time. Because the Disney company goes, no, nope, we don't need this anymore, we don't need that anymore. We'll probably won't care. We're, ch we're fulfilling his pur purpose. We're getting rid of old stuff and replacing, we're getting new stuff, trying to move forward with the course of time. Well, Walt may um, agree with that up to a point, but at the same time, he may not. He may want a lot of those former attractions to stay around. Like, who says that um, he wanted, um, or let's just say that he even knew about the great movie, right, for example. 
Do you think that um, he would actually want the great movie right to go? Probably not. But that's hard to say. I mean, I never met the man personally. He died long before I was born, so I have no idea. Now, personally, I am happy to see it go because of the fact that Disney stopped pumping money into it and it just got old after a while. They made it back before T TCM or Turner Classic Movies um, bought it out. It was actually slightly decent, but even then, just the whole aspect of um, going through the same exact scenes over and over and over again that the Disney company refused to change, period. The only thing that they really changed was they got Robert Osborne to narrate the majority of the ride, and then they got um, a brand new en movie ending. Like, I would have loved to see them out on different movie scenes over time, just going through the same movie scene over, or movie scenes over and over and over and over again. I don't have anything against Alien or Wizard of Oz. I love Wizard of Oz. I just would have loved to see them make some changes over time. But no, they didn't. They didn't at all. And it was very hurtful. Because... Um, it got boring, you know? So, when I finally heard the announcement that they're getting rid of it, I was like, well, thank goodness... Finally, we can watch something different for once, you know? And, um, as far as, like, Epcot goes, Alan's Energy Adventure is being replaced by a Guardians of the Galaxy ride. Another ride I was actually very happy to see go. I mean, don't get me wrong, it was a pretty decent ride. It gave you something to do when... The park was slow, and it stuck to the theme of the future world, um, talking about, um, energy and stuff like that. I can see why they had that there. I mean, it was a lot better than the original universe of energy, because, um, they had added on Ellen DeGeneres, but at the same time, another ride that got boring over the course of time, same old, same old, outdated. I mean, that ride goes back to the early 21st century. When I used to ride the Backlot Express. Well, actually, that's the name of the restaurant at Hollywood Studios. I'm so sorry. And then when I used to ride the Hollywood, uh, the uh, Backlot Tour at Hollywood Studios back a few years ago, they still had that uh, submarine from Nolan's Energy Adventure that you see in the ride. That just shows how old that ride is. Because a lot of them, um, of the old replicas that were in Alan's Energy Adventure, or I mean, that were in movies and stuff like that, or even in old Disney rides, made its way into, uh, um, whatever you call it, the Backlot Tour at Hollywood Studios until they decided to tear that out and make room for Toy Story Land expansion because as far as I'm concerned Toy Story Land's already been there because of uh, Toy Story Mania formerly known as Toy Story Midway Mania but somewhere along the line the Disney company decided to change the name to Toy Story Mania I don't know why it must have happened around the same time they added on that second track because when it first opened back around 05, somewhere around there, it was known as Toy Story Midway Mania. At least we are um, relieved to know that that ride's definitely not going anywhere and is actually one of the most popular attractions. And even though it opened on the same time that Lights Mars Action did, it's definitely not going anywhere. Neither is Expedition Everest, which also opened around the same year. Some rides that opened back around 2005 will definitely not be going anywhere. There's, there's just some attractions at the at Walt Disney World that might have be like super old 
but we know that they're not going to go anywhere like Rock and Roll Coaster and Tower of Terror. They've been there since the late 90s. They're still not going anywhere. I think Tower of Terror has been there since the early 90s, actually. And we were all afraid when Disney World finally, um, or the Disney Company finally promised a Guardians of the Galaxy ride for Walt Disney World. We were like, oh no, don't tear a Tower of Terror because it's one of our favorite attractions. Don't get me wrong, Mission Breakout looks super cool over at California Adventure. Seen on YouTube, but I don't think it looks cool enough to tear out one of the most beloved attractions, Tower of Terror. And uh, Disney World, or yeah, the Disney Company has already promised that the one in California Adventure is the only one that they replaced. They are not going to replace our Tower of Terror at all, so that one is safe. I don't know if it's stapled in for good or not. I guess I'll find out over the next few years um, when the next D23 Expo shows up in 2019 in Anaheim. Because it's in Anaheim every two years. It doesn't go anywhere else. It's not like Star Wars Celebration that's somewhere new every two years. Like, the next Star Wars Celebration will also be in 2019 as well. I believe that, um, that's all the attractions that are getting replaced. I mean, other than new enhancements like, um, Epcot is, um, getting, they're getting a huge makeover to Mission Space. They're trying to make it seem more realistic, partnering with, um, ILM, Industrial Light Magic. Big company that's been working with Lucasfilm for like ever. Um, they're getting a brand new restaurant that's supposed to make you feel like you're in the International Space Station. I'm excited about that one. Um, the Ratatouille right over in Disneyland Paris is officially coming over to um, Walt Disney World. I, I'm actually excited about that one because of the fact that um, I've never ridden a trackless ride before and my favorite um, experience about Disney restaurants is the, ex or favorite thing about Disney restaurants as I just said by accident is the experience. Um, I mean I like food too um, if you don't know I like food then you don't know me very well and that's evident. But yes I definitely like food and I love the experience that comes with it. I am very excited about a Guardians of the Galaxy ride coming too. Epcot. I mean, some of the stuff I'm, I've kind of already gone over before, but at the same time, I wanted to kind of go over it more of a personal form. I've been very excited about Star Wars: Galaxy's Edge for quite a while now. I'm a big Star Wars fan. I'm since Disney tore out. Star Wars weekends, I was wondering what they were going to do. I should have known that um, that was going to lead to Star Wars Land. I don't know if this is an expansion or not because we, we've already had Star Tours since um, the uh, park opened. I mean, that's a staple of an attraction too. That That's a classic. They probably, they, uh, they say that um, Great Movie Ride is the only classic. I don't know, because I consider Star Tours a bit of a classic attraction myself. Even, you could say Tower of Terror is, too, to, up to a point. But, um, as far as, um, well, maybe I should say, other than that, um, no, Star, Star Tours is def not really part of, um, or is not really Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. It was really just kind of by itself. So I really can't say that um, they are um, expanding Star Tours at all. But I can definitely say that um, they are, are well, not expanding Star Tours into Star Wars Land, but the they decided that um, they're going to build a Star Wars land called Star Wars Galaxy's Edge 
and they're going to make Star Wars Galaxy's Edge part of the um, expansion. Even though it's already been in the park since the park practically opened, we're still going to count it as part of the Star Wars Galaxy's Edge expansion. I'm almost to my location, so I'm going to wrap this up. Animal Kingdom already got its expansion, so there's nothing to talk about there. Um, I'm very, very, very excited, and I can't describe how excited I am about the Disney Skyliner, seeing the Skyway system coming back to Walt Disney World since the 90s. Just makes me um, jump up and down like a little kid in a circus. You could say, um, I really hope that I get to ride it very, very, very soon, whenever it opens anyway. And of course, I've already seen that the minivan is already out and about at uh, the Dis Walt Disney World Company. Anyway, guys, um, I will definitely make making this in an audio format. And I will see you guys in the next video. And always remember, you can do all things through Crisis Strengthens You. Have a great day.